Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to another video with me, Fat Hipster. And today, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to taste what is in this vial right here. What do you think of this? Leave your guess in the comments below. Give you a few seconds. Okay, now I'm going to tell you. This brown liquid is actually Kool-Aid. And it's a specific type of Kool-Aid. It is... It's a rip package, so I'll have to pull it together to show you. This is Aunt Wick's Root Beer Flavored Drink. This is actually from the 60s or 70s. I'm not sure. It doesn't have a date on it, but that's around the time that this was made uh, before they stopped making this. Flavorite was another brand that made this as well. Um, they made a little bit before this Aunt Wick's. I believe Aunt Wicks was bought out by whichever company owns Kool-Aid brand now. Um, and they made root beer flavor for a little bit, but discontinued it. You can find some of these packets on eBay. If you watch Good Mythical Morning, Rhett and Link actually did a Should You Bring It Back episode where they tasted this. And they said that it tastes just like root beer without the carbonation. So, why is it in this vial? Well... If you've heard of this company, Bruzy, it is a make your own wine at home type uh, company. And you, they give you these little packets. Um, they don't give you this vial, you have to buy it separately. Um, in the packets, you get these uh, Bruzy bags, which have your yeast, your nutrients, and all that good stuff that it needs. And then you get, as well, name tags for your drinks. And these little bubblers, which you use them in the wine making process. I should have another video that I recorded almost a full year ago. Um, but I'm waiting for a few things on that one. So actually, I think I have everything now. Uh, it's just going to be me making some finishing touches on the video and making a final uh, edit for that. But that should be coming out. But I wanted to make more wine before these things expired. Uh, these ones actually expire January of 2023. So I still got time. I got one more of these. Who knows what I'm going to make with it? But uh, I'm not going to tell you what the other, the first one I made with it until you watch that video. But this is the beginnings of root beer wine. So um, when you mix the wine, uh, when you mix the, uh, the water and the sugar, you put it in something like this uh, so you can see how alcoholic it is at the end. And on this little thing, you look at the, the bobber, you see where the line is, and if it's within that uh, green spot, which mine is right now, and if I'm looking at it, it looks like 1.72. I actually looked a little bit more than that earlier. Maybe it changed. I don't know. But... That is where you kind of want it to start at. And then by the time it's finished, it should be down here. Um, so basically, it tells you the sugar has been eaten and turned into alcohol. And since I just started this, it doesn't have any alcohol in it. It's just this. And in fact, I don't even have any yeast in this one. I took it out before I added yeast. Um, it is a little warm, so I have a cup of ice. So all this video is going to be is me taste testing this product. I just wanted to let you know what I'm doing with it later on. Here we go. I had to pour this out to test the gravity. That's what it's called. The gravity of it. And that just tells you how much sugar is in there. So here we are. Um, this actually has more sugar in it than the instructions so it's going to be a lot sweeter than it should be um, I just needed more sugar in the mix for the yeast to get the proper alcohol content that I need at the end 
Let's go ahead and taste it. It's going to be a sugary. It's going to be sweet. But will it taste like root beer? Let's find out. It certainly smells like root beer. Oh, yeah. Since it's so sweet, it really tastes like a root beer barrel candies. So you have those root beer barrel candies, like a hard candy. Mm. Really tasty. Aunt Wick's root beer flavored drink mix. I don't know why they discontinued. This is really delicious. Kool Aid companies, make this again, please. We all want it. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. That's all it was. Me telling people this needs to come out again and also informing you what I'm going to be doing with it. It's currently in a warm spot getting uh, the fermentation started. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean all this up. Give this video a thumbs up. I have one more bag. What should I turn into wine next? Um, both things that I've made so far into wine are things that I've never seen made into wine before. But really, any juice or any sweet beverage you can turn into wine. Let me know in the comments section below what my third wine should be made of. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one. So long. Bye.